<laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we are back on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War because they finally added the new AMP63 pistols. So the pistols are right here, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. It looks like a water gun, I'm not gonna deny it here. So the attachments this comes with is the Muzzle Break 9 Recoil Control, the 6.4 Task Force, it gives you the most damage and bullet velocity, I'm pretty sure it gives you the most bullet velocity out of any of the other barrels, maybe the Reinforced does. But I'm pretty sure that's because it was bullet velocity and effective damage range for this combined. It comes with less ammo, obviously, but the soft... What is the purpose of this? When you ADS... Wait, but it... what is the point of this if you don't even ADS with the gun because it comes dual wield? <laughs> oh my gosh. It also comes with the 25 round mag, which is the biggest mag you can run. I'd probably run it. I might, I, I might run that. I don't know. But it also comes with that. The bundle also comes with this really interesting charm of a little itty bitty phone or whatever. It's kind of weird, and then the sticker, you always get a sticker with these. We're using these PA and P63s here. The challenge is to get using a pistol to eliminate five enemies in 20 different matches. I'm not doing that. You got me fucked up if you think I'm doing that, because I'm not going to use this gun very often. Um, we're going to be running this here today. Here's what it looks like without the base, uh, without the variant I bought for a thousand COD points, I believe, something like that. It's 10 bucks. So here, we're going to go ahead and get right into a game, and I'll see you guys there. I haven't played Cold War in a minute. Okay, that hit fire is kind of nice. I don't, I didn't expect to reload like I did, but fire's kind of nice. So, I will say, I'm very happy that Cold War is adding these weapons, but where the fuck were these two weeks ago? Like, I, I understand that, you know, they go on, like, that two-week basis or whatever. You have one week where content doesn't release, and then another week where content does release. But, man, we literally, these have been in the tr freaking cutscene that was available to, um... Pain. I'm like that guy's name pain but these pistols were in the um cutscene as well of the of season four or season three so i'm not too sure where these why these weren't here before like it makes no sense to me so this is the inspect i like the glowing on it but as i was saying where were these two weeks ago like i mean this these were in the original initial trailer event like cutscene thingy but then they just disappeared so it's almost like were they supposed to be here were they not supposed to be here or what exactly was supposed to happen with these or was it supposed to be uh you know a season three item or whatever because or season four item sorry because a lot of people were wondering because a lot of people didn't think these were going to release this was kind of the same scenario with these as the currently the cx9 is having where we have no clue if the cx9 is going to be releasing in modern warfare until either season four or if modern warfare 3 gets remastered with a campaign no one knows for sure so I hope to see that CX-9 because it's the Scorpion Evo from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'm hoping to see that in the game, but we also have unused weapons that are in the game. But we also have to remember, we're still waiting on two more multiplayer maps, two weapons in Modern Warfare, and a map. So whether we're going to see these weapons or not is really up in the air. Um, but it definitely was a similar situation. Okay, how do you see me, man? Okay, chill out, chill, chill, chill. I said chill. Leave me alone. I will say, Cold War recently has been really fucking sweaty. Like, it's beyond belief, especially when these weapons get added. Like, it is another... Like, it's another type of sweaty, man. Oh, fuck you, kid. Why would you peek that, mate? At least I think I am, because I wouldn't doubt it. I thought, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a Molotov. I did not know that was that. Teammate, how did I not kill him, though? Where did my gun start going to? Like, I was aiming at him. Got him. And they're here. It's gonna kill me, probably. Got him. Shitload. Got him. Heal. You just got absolutely dogged on, bro. I'm about to die on that arrow. Got him. No, I didn't know there was another one. Why are they spawning there in the fuck? So these are the new pistols. I like these. So, while I'm here, as I'm already getting shot at, and I don't even know where from. Okay, call it down. I swear to God, if I die right here, I was going to be so upset if I did. I will say, I don't like how these start with no ammo. So, 
while I'm here, I do want to talk about one tiny thing with these weapons. Is I'm f glad they're here, but they should have launched a long time ago. And now the reason I say that they should have launched a long time ago is because Cold War isn't getting hyped up anymore. Outside of the initial launch and the season three reloaded, this game loses a lot of hype and dies down really, really fast because no one's really paying attention. You know, they just say, hey, it's here, but they don't give out any like marketing for it. You know, there's no in-game announcement saying, oh, other than the day that it is added, that it's here. These weapons have been in the trailer since the beginning and they were just marketed as in season. Well, when you put a weapon like this in season, people forget about it really quickly. The card was added two weeks after launch and some people were still, you know, exploring all that season three at that time had to season three at the time had to offer people aren't going to experience what season three had to have for now until season four releases because in all honesty with you i had no clue these released today because there is no promotional material for it so there's no I, I had no clue that these were even revealed today until after i literally had to scroll through twitter for hours like oh they finally they finally released them good job I got more excited over the Battlefield 6 teaser trailer, like that 10 second trailer or whatever, than this. And that makes me a little sad. Also, I do have Battlefield videos coming to this channel. Um, I'm still going to probably main Call of Duty, but I really want to switch up content to other games such as Battlefield or even if there's any, I mean, I can do Titanfall. I mean, it's not like there's any new content for the game, but maybe in a few Titanfall videos here or there. Um, just to add them to the channel because I enjoy playing Titanfall and things like that. But currently there's not really anything here for Call of Duty for me at the moment. I mean, I have a few Modern Warfare videos I wanna make, but the issue with variant videos is in the fact that it's a blueprint that I changed the entire setup on because the blueprints suck. Like, but I, are you kidding me? You're right, how does he ghosted? He, he doesn't have ghost on, how, why didn't I see him with the UAV? That's okay. I, okay, I guess so. But honestly, Cold War, especially as of recently, just, in all honesty, I, I feel like it's not exciting or fun to play, or even watch, to an extent. Like, Fuck the crossbow! I don't miss crossbows, ever. I will never miss them. And I know they're constantly going to be in Call of Duty, but I'm never going to miss them. Like, it's so annoying to get one shot by a weapon by a kid that literally, it has aim assist, which I think is the worst part. Like, it, a one-shot weapon every time it hits you, and it has fucking aim assist. And he can be at range to do so. How the fuck does he hit me at that aim? Got him with these. These pistols are really nice. They definitely remind me of the PM60. I think it was the PM63. I feel that what it's called back in Black Ops 1. I think that's what it was. I don't quite remember. Because there's the Caparis, the Spectre, and then there's, like, the, the weird dual wield ones, which I think is these. These shoot way slower than those ones, though. That's for sure. But I definitely do like it. I'm probably going to take off dual wield in all honesty when I run this. I won't run it dual wield, mostly because of ammo. It takes up a lot of bullets when you miss them. But the gun is very accurate, and I definitely appreciate that about this variant bundle. But it seems like every time a bundle releases, it's useless attachments. Like on the carve, it was a good attachment bundle. Yeah, I'm going to spray because you're going to get a crossbow, mate. Use their cruise missile. I'm not gonna protect you from a cruise missile, man. Got him. Damn, man. He can hit me through there. I don't like that. I don't like this. Dead. Why are these guys spraying air patrols? God dang. Got him. Fucking crap. I, I see how this is gonna go, Call of Duty. Nah. You know what? These pistols. Well, they're good. I do like these pistols a lot. I will say, I definitely do. Cold War still fucking sucks.